Some of you that have heard my stories many, many years in the making now might recall that I used to have a friend, I guess I would call him now, named Bubba Wolf. And uh, he goes by Bubba Wolf because his mom named him Big Bad. And she was thinking, well, this is a great, perfect wolf name. And so what it turned out to do, though, was it ended up just making him get in a lot of fights in school. Because all the kids would come up to him like, Big Bad, huh? That's your name? Well, come on, let's see how big and bad you are. And they would try to fight him all the time. He was always getting in trouble, sent to detention. Ugh, he just, he hated it. He hated it. But like anything that you do, a lot of, he became a good fighter. And so, but he hated fighting the whole time. And so finally what he ended up doing is as soon as he was old enough, he moved away. He ran off into some small little part of the forest. In fact, what he found was a little village, and uh, it was in this little village that he had his encounter with Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. And uh, it didn't go well, as you might remember from that story. Granny, Granny really got after him, and in fact, she ended up suing him. And uh, for you know, and 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 everybody thought, oh my gosh, you know, of course the wolf tried to eat her. And it was the it was the woodcutter and Little Red who were both actually pretty good friends with uh, Bubba Wolf that uh, finally got that calmed down. Well, it turned out that uh, Little Red and the woodcutter got married, and they had a little kid, and Bubba Wolf got to be the godson, the godfather. I mean, and this little girl was just as rambunctious as any little blonde girl could be and she was getting you know older and pretty wiry and the and little red and the woodcutter needed to take a break and so they finally called on bubba and said hey can you babysit now this was the first time bubba had actually babysat the baby all by himself and he thought well you know i don't trust myself or her so what could go wrong if I just took her out into the forest where I know everything? She can't get far from me. And even if she does get far, it'll be safe. And so he does that. He does just that. He takes her out. And he was completely wrong. She ran immediately. As soon as he let her down on the ground, she was gone. He couldn't find her anywhere. So he finally kept running around trying to chase her and sniffing you know wolves are pretty good trackers and so he would just smell and he was always like two or three steps behind her and finally they came upon the house and he recognized it it was yeah you know it was the bear's house the bear family was living there and uh they were gone and somehow she got into an open window that he couldn't fit into and he kept peeking in the window trying to see what was going on and she started eating their food, and he thought, oh, that's not good. i got to figure something out. And as soon as she was done with one of them, she, she ran over to the chairs. She sat in all the chairs. He was trying to figure out what was going on about that, and she ended up breaking one. He's like, oh, my gosh, i got to figure out what to do. How am I going to take care of this? And, uh, and then she ran into the bedrooms and uh, got into one of the beds, and finally, finally, she passed out took a nap and he was like oh thank goodness I can't get into this house so uh, he ran off into the forest to figure out where the bear family was at because you know their food was there and everything they couldn't be far and while he was out looking for them that's when the bear family came home and that's the part of the story that we all know is the bear family version of it but uh, as soon as as soon as they found the girl as soon as they found her sleeping in the bed you remember the ending of the story. She woke up, saw the bears, and screamed and ran out. Well, she jumped out a window, and that was just as the Bubba Wolf had come back to try and find her. And there she was running out the window. And so instead of telling them what happened and what the whole story was about, he ran out to find her. And it was years later before he ever remembered that he never did tell the bears what that little girl had been doing in their house all those years ago. So little version of a new story, a new version of a little story we all know.
Thanks. Thank you, dude.